Hello everyone, and welcome back to CK3 Poland. We're still here playing as King Bolslaw of the Piast. We've basically united Poland with the small exception of land controlled in Gate Morava. Um, we've got two. We've got three of the needed holy sites to do a reform. We're just missing three thousand some odd. Piety. So things are going well. We've got to go basically two and a half more into the theologian tree to get profit. And then that 3,000, or rather the 4,000 some odd needed will only be 2,000. Still have got a ways to go, but I think I can manage that. So as long as we keep working the way we're, the way it's gone so far, I think we should be fine on all honesty. Um, I kind of don't want to spend any more gold at the moment, though. I need to start keeping gold reserves for succession in case I need to hire mercs. I uh, also turned up the volume a bit because some people were complaining they couldn't hear it well. Hopefully that is not the case anymore. Hopefully you guys can all hear it fully. I cannot persuade this guy to become my vassal. Okay, never mind then. We'll conquer him instead. Kind of like, eh, you either join peacefully or you join by force at this point. Um, okay. We gonna need to do some more conquering while we have the advantage here. The longer we wait, the more people are going to catch up to me. Also keep ransoming people for money. And victory. Awesome. We're not compensating anybody for stuff our dog does. We're going to be a bit unnice to that. Um, I think we had someone else of our... Nephew here we could invite to court. There we go. Grant titles. You can have that dynasty. So the Piasts basically just control this parts of Poland. The center area of Poland is not under my control, which is fine. Um we can conquer this duchy if we want to. I don't know if we do. I think we're better off going this way at the moment. Once I get some more prestige. Let's buy some with a hunt. <laughs> we just belted one of our uh, people because they're out of, out of control. Um... Oh, we've got a worn language manual, apparently. Cool. Uh, I think it's going to be worth us trying to learn Russian. Also, now that I think about it, how do I tell what cultures are tolerated in my realm? I'm just realizing I don't actually... I could just simply reform Poland... Or create a divergent culture. I thought there was a way to see what cultures kind of got along. Hmm. Huh. Well, if you guys know where to find that, let me know. I was pretty sure there was a way to see, like, cultural tolerance and stuff. Um, how much do I need to, okay, I can do that. He would have allies. I can take out this guy though. If I have a little bit more prestige or I could take that guy out, but he is defending against someone else. 
with the ally, though, I can still conquer him. If I go north, I'm expanding into non Slovieskin Slovieskin religion. If I go south, I will still be in my religion area. This guy will be much easier to conquer. But he has he's got split. He's got very split duchies. The split duchy. So we'll fight in the south for now. Not too worried about this war. Now, question. Do we want to go and see what it would take for us to be create the uh, empire down here? Because we have a very large advantage at the moment in terms of growth rate. Still only have a daughter in our as our heir. Hmm. Okay. Well that was a good expansion, I think. Um The Southern Baltic Empire, you need 95. I have 31. So obviously a long way to go. Um We don't want to conquer too much too quickly because we don't want to allow a kingdom to split off if there's a messed up inheritance obviously right now i can really go after only go after people who aren't of my cult my religion but then i'm using up the piety i need so i think i for now i need to wait Ooh. Ow, that not good. I think we'll stop learning Russian then. Dog passed on. We'll focus on earthly matters. Huh. I thought we, uh... Huh. Never mind then. Uh, religious icon. Increase the conversion rate. 27 years. ay ay ay. Translating book. Sure. Yeah, I can't. Court artifacts. I can't equip that anywhere right now. Okay. Gotta become futile. In order to become... Oops. In order to become futile, we still need to discover half of these. Oh, we got a long way to go. Um... Up in faith, that's good. We're trying to translate this book. I wonder if it comes across as an artifact. Okay, more piety. We've got, we're now officially an accomplished translator. Ooh, cool. Piety per month. And we have everything we need for profit. Now we just need a way to get more piety.
Missing just under a thousand. Go on a pilgrimage. And we'll go to Plock because it's short. Oh. Opinion of people of different cultures, which is nice. 250. Okay. We are down to needing 700. There's no point in doing that. Uh, slightly more accomplished. 5-1. He's our high almonder as well. Getting the church holdings. Another 250. So far we're getting a lot of really good religious events. Respect the guy's pri privacy. Privacy. And he's holding a feast for us. Nice. Lock up somebody, then ransom them. Create a duchy. I don't care. I'm not going to bother with that for now. We really need a male heir, though. New culture formed. Curious to see how many cultures we're going to get. Okay. That's done. City planning, I think. How many are we missing? We're missing six. That's all, basically all of them. We'll take a stress penalty there. Um, let's do wards because the daughter is a is being educated by us, I think, right? Yeah. That should get her some extra skills. We can become a wise man. Is that good for our culture? Can't remember. Most, a lot of cultures have wise men as respected. No. Unfortunately not. By master, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, hold a feast. We're getting a little bit high on the stress. Without kindness, the world falls apart. Wine merchant should still be in town. Got some prestige. The Great Morava is really weak. They are, however, allied to the Byzantines. Really? Ay, ay, ay. It would be the perfect opportunity to invade them if they weren't protected by everybody. Now, here's an opportunity, though. I could invade and take Bohemia from the Queen. I'm going to try this. She has no allies. It's just a simple duchy war because she doesn't own much more. Now, downside, we're going to be next to Catholics. On the other hand, 5,000 is... Compared to what there is going on in the Carling realms, outside of the Byzantines and West Francia, we should be safe. We need siege weapons. We can't build siege weapons. Probably until we're no longer tribal. That makes sense. We just gotta slowly siege it down. Once we take it, we'll split our uh, forces up. We'll smash her army if we can. Someone's plotting to kill one of my prisoners. 
Get them out. I don't want them here if they're going to get killed. So it's interesting that Prague is feudalized, but the, a lot of the rest of Bohemia is still tribal. It's just kind of cool. Lock up someone else. The brother. Eighty percent done. Drive him off of that. Or resiege it in this case. Um Lazy is a terrible trait. But Craven is even worse. Not good. Victory is ours. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's actually going to be a problem because now we can create the kingdom of Bohemia and it'll split away from us. Unless... Unless. No, this will split away, won't it? We'll create the Duchy of Bohemia. Grant that to the nephew. He can't form the kingdom. She'll be heir to the kingdom of Bohemia, but that's it. Then if we... Set up a betrothal, maybe? Between those two. They're the same dynasty. That would keep the throne in under our dynasty, even if it does split off. Which is good. We want that. Um, force partition on him, though. Oh, wait, he's got to consider that. Then we'll force that on him. Okay. What else can I do? There's a lot of... There's a ton of little provinces up here I want to take over, but... How close are we to reforming? Under 100. Uh... See, there's got to be a way. How do I tell? Like, the cultural relations to Poland. Oh, there we go. Acceptance. There we go. Okay. 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 So we are 37% acceptable of Russian, but we're growing accepting of Slovian and we will grow acceptance of Czech culture. Okay. And our capital is actually at nine development already. Um, that means we'll swap that off and we'll start promoting Czech culture's small, so I might try and replace it with Polish. 11 years. Oof. There's no point in trying to fix the Slovian religion, or the, however you say it, religion. Okay. 75. Okay, we're almost done. We'll reform the religion, and then that'll probably be it for this episode. Maybe the queen will have a son. That would be great. Let's 
seven years to convert Prague. Come on, almost there. Another daughter. What the heck is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna reform the faith. So. Uh, I'm fine with ritual celebrations. Uh, communal identity. Hmm. I think to do nature, though, I'd like to flip. Just because the construction cost. The popular opinion's nice, though. Uh, we could try and be syncretic with the, oh, every time I change one of these, it's only going to get more expensive, isn't it? Oh, bother. Um, let's not do human sacrifice. Mendicant preachers would speed up. Country conversion speed. This one, plus fever per holy site held. That is going to be really strong. We want that. Um, suppose I could flop, flip communal identity. Monacticism is really good because it allows you to get rid of unwanted sons. Three thousand. Okay, theocratic, lay clergy, temporal head of faith. We still need a lot more than we have here. Um, we'll shift to... Equal. Will be fundamentalist. Divorce is allowed. Monogamous. Legitimization. Cousin marriage. Uh, witches is strong. We accept witchcraft. That helps. Clerical recruitment. Recruitment's good. A lot here. Almost, we almost need 2,000 more at that rate. Oh, okay. Well, we'll continue that next time because that's going to take a while. So thank you guys all for watching this episode two. And uh, hopefully we'll actually get this reform after this. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.